Hello, we are at PE Hello, today we are at PE Mikus in Eschbach. With me is Dr. Markus Simon, head of the Beamline Instrumentation Department. He will present a special project that is currently being implemented in the Engineered Systems Department. Hello, Mr. Simon. Hello, Mr. Nese. Mr. Simon, what exactly are we looking at? What we see here is the mechanical base for an X-ray spectrometer, which essentially consists of two hexapods and a vacuum chamber. The finished device will be used in a beamline at a synchrotron radiation source. Synchrotron radiation, so that means working with radiation from a particle accelerator, right? Exactly. In the case of a beamline, the radiation that is created in certain parts of a storage ring is used to perform various different experiments in various different test setups. So what exactly is the purpose of this system in the beamline? Among other things, the setup is used for spectroscopic analysis of material samples such as ultra-thin layers for the semiconductor industry. It is even intended for medical research to examine highly diluted biological samples. How exactly does it work? The incident synchrotron or X-ray radiation is focused onto the sample by an X-ray lens. The sample in turn emits light in the X-ray range too. The spectrometer examines the light according to wavelength and intensity. This enables us to find out more about the material composition of the sample. What would the application demand from such a system? The system has six axes and can therefore move in six degrees of freedom. Why exactly is this necessary? Various points on the sample surfaces need to be illuminated from various different angles. But because the sample is coupled to the vacuum chamber, it is necessary to position it in six degrees of freedom. Initially, the X-ray lens is also coupled to the vacuum chamber mechanically. Therefore, a second parallel kinematic machine is necessary to position the X-ray lens in the chamber so that it always remains at the same place with respect to the incident X-ray beam. How accurately does this work? If the sample is rotated around the X-ray beam, the X-ray lens will move less than a hair's breadth. The larger of the two hexapods has an angular resolution which is considerably less than 10 microradian and it is able to position two tons in space while remaining within its specification. How exactly is the system installed at the customer's location? PE Mikos works closely together with the customer so that he is not left alone during installation. We support the customer from the initial conception phase up to installation and startup of the system. We consider ourselves as a service provider who offers comprehensive service during the duration of the entire project. Dr. Simon, thank you very much for an exciting look at this system. You're welcome.